there. Sorry, I was doing more transactional stuff um, between houses. So, uh, an emergency pre-closing rental agreement. <laughs> Excuse me. So, the houses here were typically all built, I'm going to say, in the 30s. Oh gosh, I forgot to look at when this one was originally built in. You are a little overbuilt for the neighborhood. Most of these are quite small. <clears throat> um, right down the hill, at the bottom of the hill there, is Hilo's Cafe or Diner. And some of the best food for the least expensive prices you'll ever find. They're open typically seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's it. I knew the owner before they opened. I could tell that story, but no need. Let's focus on the house. So, and I asked Leather to give his opinion or thoughts about West Bremerton as a whole. So, <clears throat> West Bremerton, let's start here. For a long time, the levees did not pass in West Bre in Bremerton School District. Um, and that's because of the shipyard, because of all the military housing, <clears throat> You can actually, I mean, that stack in the distance there. What a view. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Um, wow, <laughs> this is really cool. Um, <clears throat> but there was a huge concentration of rentals. It used to be like 60% rentals in Bremerton. Now that's definitely been changing. Um, let's go inside, Leather, and then if you could talk a little bit more about West Bremerton. And then I'll continue if I think anything else needs to be added. This is beautiful. Yeah, wood siding. Okay. Hardwood you have pads. a new message from Kevin Dahl. Message is, well, she got a cashier's check today for $50 as we thought the rent would just be for today. You're as we close tomorrow, about my she was going to give here. the check to the title company tomorrow when wow. she's in there signing. Long text message. Okay, right. I'll get back to him in a minute. <clears throat> so, West Bremerton Leather. It is a pretty old place and it doesn't have the best history, but it's been on the up and up just slowly. It's been slowly cleaning itself up as the old has gone out and the new has come in. And you'll still find some remnants in nice ways as well as some less nice ways. This is definitely one of those cases of it's not new, but man, is it nice. This is one of the n much nicer homes of the area, big time. Um, still got some classic charm. Look at those old um, doorknob. The texturing on the walls and the ceiling, very old school, the door frames. Even yeah. It has the vintage doorbell. I don't know if you saw that, but it's the actual one where you crank the lock oh, on the door. I missed that. <laughs> So this is a newer door, but they kept the old doorbell. I love these. Got to show you this. <laughs> to the bell on the inside. Um, plantation fan. Pull their return. So they match the height of the original baseboards with the baseboards over there. You know, sometimes if you strip these, you find that it's clear mahogany underneath. That's fairly common in the nicer homes. So often you find cedar lined closets too. Clearly not here, but this is for sure gonna be plaster. They've got this one painted like the sky. And doors, doors everywhere. So we've got the double doors into here. And these are glass doors. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've got those lines attached down at the bottom. Hey, go ahead and walk through that. You have a new message from Tara. Good. <laughs> message oh. is done. So he's got <laughs> doors everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you have a door to the hall. And that's just typical of an older house. They had doors and doors. And it's very possible that that door over to that room was an add-on, you know, um, an addition. It certainly got a newer frame and a newer style of frame. So that big double door over there. Oh, the double door. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. one was probably the only way before. Okay. Cable. Is there, yes, there's the phone jack and cable there. Okay. So, so this could be the office. <clears throat> it's this fascinating duality of 
I got that. Vintage, no, just the doorknobs. Mm -hmm. But then you've got these nicer fixtures, the trim lighting up here. <clears throat> okay. Original grooves. cast iron tub. You can tell by these grooves here. Mm -hmm. Pretty deep, a little stained on the bottom, but it's a nice deep tub. Not a lot of head height. Leather, will you stand inside there since it's dry? And this actually has more than Oh! Are you all right? I'm good. <laughs> Bye, bad. Okay, so leather's 5'9", so I guess there's more height than I thought. Some people have stood in there and not been able to stand up. Not in, in some houses. So I thought I better check that. Okay. Another door. They, I mean, they have the old keyholes and everything. Okay, here is the stairway downstairs. Of course, there's a door at the top of the stairs. We'll explore that later. And here's that duality I'm talking about. This old piano, this old light switch, this very nice new gas fireplace, the vinyl windows. Yep, the windows have been updated. Do you see a cable jack in here? Uh, not evidently, no. I don't see one here. But see, there's no doors on this room either. Yeah. So th these are just open doorways. And there's not much place you'd put <clears throat> your TV anyway. You know, even without yep. this piano here, you'd be sitting pretty much up against the fireplace. Okay. So this used to be a bedroom. For sure, with the closet there. But they've turned it into the piano or organ. Wow, look at that. They definitely wanted Kay. a new kitchen. Stairway up and like ship stairs up again. Okay. So we have, I think it's quartz. Could be marble. Could be granite. I'm not sure. Probably granite with that seam right there, I'm thinking. But I'm not sure. So I just want to say, it might seem like that's your pantry and that's about it. Right about here. Right. Effectively, this entire section can also be a pantry. They've got storage, lights. Oh, wow. More cabinetry, shelving. This is cold in this room. This is not insulated. Or if it's insulated, it's not heated. How's that? Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> it's got the old. This is a new door, though. But, uh. Well, it's got fun. Yep. Yeah, it's probably just not heated. Yeah, um, just not heated. Yeah. Okay. So. These are soft pine floors. I, the house feels really level, which is pretty incredible, just just because. Mm -hmm. That's rare for this age. Yeah. A little alcove there, built-in alcove. Let's head upstairs. Steep stairs, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's classic, very common. Yep. <coughs> Excuse. Excuse me. Okay. Wow, there's like so much to look at here. There's a standing shower open. Leather, will you see if those open fairly easily? Uh, yep, they are uh, crawl space access with a teeny tiny bit of storage in there. Okay. Thank you. Not crawl space, but uh, yeah, attic. under the eaves there. Yep. One second. Uh, Bedroom up here. Nope. Same as that one. No baseboard in this room. And this one but is... here's a phone jack. Oh, this one's just storage with a light switch. A teeny tiny storage room. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're making great use <clears throat> of the space. Yeah, they always did in the old houses. Will you look for a cable jack in this room? Mm -hmm. Leather? I don't There's see one. Um, so. Nothing up here, just the phone. Okay, only a phone jack in that room. So far, the only cable jack we've seen was in that first room with the double doors, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, something I just wanted to point out, well, besides the very nice lighting here, um, 
a lot of stairways in older homes, you're liable to conk your head on the way down. This one has complete headroom. That's true. That's a really tall <clears throat> doorway there. Oh, a little tiny sink. <laughs> a cutout for the for the headboard. Okay, and this is a good sized closet for an upstairs room. Usually they're super tiny. Again, those soft pine floors or fur. I'm sorry, I think they're fur. Pine fur? I can't remember now, but I know that these are softwood floors, the ones that look like this as opposed to hardwood. So that view out there. More storage, light with the string. This is so different from everything we've ever looked at for Rob and Jenny. <laughs> I have not seen anything like this before and it is awesome. <laughs> you definitely want to feel like a ladder and you know, not walk it, walk down forwards, but. This is really exactly like climbing a ladder. This it is super tiny, is scary, narrow, narrow. Awesome. It's not finished. <laughs> it needs caulking and it needs the, the sills. But look at this. This is incredible. You have a view of the yeah, narrow, of I'm sorry, of the Warren Avenue Bridge. So that's um, Sinclair Inlet over there. <clears throat> well, I guess, okay. So, that's the Port Orchard Narrows. My apologies. That's the Port Orchard Narrows. This is, uh, well, this is down by the shipyard. What's the body of water down by the shipyard? Why can't I think? Uh, I just call it the Puget Sound. <laughs> I've never Actually, this is the entrance to Dyes Inlet. Because Dyes Inlet is up towards Silverdale, which is up that way. Also, yeah, that's the Warren Avenue Bridge. Yes, it is. I started saying the Narrows Bridge. That's the Tacoma, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I've never seen a view like this in Bremerton. Oh, there's lightning up here too. It's a little chilly, but probably just because there isn't caulking all the way through and yeah, it needs to be finished. Well, up. I think again, there's no heating. It, there's no heating, but additionally, yeah, there's, there's just gaps in all of this. And uh, there's plenty of outlets, so it wouldn't be uh, the question to bring in your own personal heater. But yeah, like here, this isn't finished at all. Yeah. So. Too bad it's not cable up here. Jenny, you could make this your office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I know Leather said don't go down frontwards, but I had a tree house and I always went down frontwards, so. Okay. So, <clears throat> we've seen that room, the one without trim. It's funny that we've, I, I feel like we're not upstairs still, but we are. <laughs> All right. Heading down. So yeah, we've got different surfaces in this kitchen too, which is funny. We've got the, I don't even know what you call that, like uh, concentric circles <coughs> that overlap, the plain stainless, and then I think it's granite. <laughs> that looks like marble. Okay, what's this? Like an old bread box or something, maybe. Okay, let's head downstairs. Into the hall of many doors. <clears throat> okay. So there is not a lot of headroom here. Leather's head might be scraping, or just like his hair might be touching, and five six, and I think that there's about what is that? It's about three inches of clearance. <clears throat> okay, workshop, <laughs> big time workshop. Laundry, laundry's down here. 
So you're carrying your laundry up and down the stairs. Very typical in an older home. Okay, double sink, water heater. It's like a 50 gallon, maybe 60. Okay, oh my heavens, look at that old car. Leather, can you try to find lights for me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm downstairs. There, now you can see it. So lots more cabinets. I don't think he knows I'm down here. Another water heater. Interesting. I have to ask why there's another water heater. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. They've got a piece of wood over that um, window well to keep water out, I'm sure. The, dra the basement's dry. It just smells like an old basement. No musty smells. It smells like my grandma's old basement. Um, door out here. We'll peek out real quick. Okay, to underneath the deck. That's fully uh, covered. The water's not going through. So, got some dryness down here. And then, of course, the garage door. Okay, big furnace. I'm just wanting to make sure that this is natural gas and not oil. Brandon, all types of oil furnaces. This is so big, it looks like it might be an oil furnace. Maybe not. <clears throat> that looks more like a natural gas line. Here's leather. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I was just about to head back upstairs through the inside. I actually didn't see the stairs. Oh. Uh, In-house vacuum. I did not notice those outlets. Nope. I'm done, leather. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing today. That one looks original. I could be wrong. I'm no expert, but it kind of looks original. Okay. Yeah, there's got to be a cable out here. Okay, there's phone. There's for the vacuum. I think the only cable jack I have found is in this room here, right there. Okay, let me go look outside. <laughs>